What's going on? Y'all know what the business is. We back as a Boston Clinic and more one time for the one time. Shout out to the entire LDBC, man. We working. Don't forget to subscribe as well, man. If you want to donate, the PayPal link is in the description. You can wait till we go live in the Super Chat. Or you can just share the video. That's definitely a help growing the brand. We on a push to 10,000 subs, so uh, help me reach that goal. But but Duke Jack and Dmitry Bivol has been, have been negotiating according to a, a Russian media outlet. And um, her and they having problems uh, negotiating a deal. Um, and Joe Smith Jr. may step in there and throw them and catch a fade with Dimitri Bivol in December on HBO. Um, you know, Badu Jack is advised or managed, I believe, by Al Hammy with Mayweather Promotions, I believe. I think he with Al. And, uh, you know, HBO, you know, Al is a shrewd uh, uh, businessman when it comes to getting these fighters money. And maybe um, it ain't enough money there for Badu Jack. But, um at once upon a time, Dimitri Bivol was his mandatory, and um, you know, Badu Jack dropped the regular WBA belt to go uh, pursue a fight with Adonis Stevenson instead of fighting Dimitri Bivol. Some people say he dug Bivol, but somebody told me it was a, ner- a niche on the contract where he had to give up the title or whatever. But he fought Adonis Stevenson. He he didn't fight uh, Dimitri Bivol. He fought the the number one guy, the lineal champion of the division, instead of fighting Bivol. Um, and Bivol got a layup versus some guy in Australia for the real Super WBA belt. So it worked out. And, um, you know, you know, Badu Jack, you know, he had sparred Elder Alvarez, and he must have felt confident about sparring him in the amateurs because he's open to fighting him as well. He is a premier boxing champ. Well, he's an Al Heyman advised fighter and Yvonne Michael uh, a promoter fighter, just as Adonis Stevenson is. And uh, he's going to be rematching Kovalev on ESPN, I hear. All right. And uh, people saying, why didn't PBC pick up the fight? I don't know. Um, maybe they just didn't want to put on Al- Alvarez and Kovalev. Whatever the reason may be, I don't care. You know, and maybe you might get Badu Jack versus Alvarez, but uh, Bivol and Jack is a way better fight than Joe Smith Jr. and Bivol. That's an inc- a not a non-competitive fight. Um, but I feel HBO they really ain't trying to open up the budget and pay Badu Jack like that. And Badu Jack deserves to get paid that way. You know, and Badu Jack can take an easy fight away for the winner of uh, uh, if if Adonis Stevenson beats Alexander Goofy. If Goofick beats Stevenson, then Badu Jack not getting that 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 shot shot. Okay, Goofick and Top Rank gonna babysit the belt just as the Donna Stevenson did. You know, that's a fight that's supposed to be going down December first, I believe. So it's a lot of fights that's gonna be going down from in the fall, and um, it's gonna really really heat up. But Joe Smith Jr. versus Dimitri Bivol, especially if uh, you know Kovalev and Alder Alvarez is pushed to January on ESPN. I don't believe that's the main event, but they're gonna try to push it as the main event. HBO is just trying to make that frugal budget stretch. And um, if they really want to show people that they committed to the sport of boxing and keep Jim Blampley and Roy Jones and Max Kellerman in business, even though Max getting money um, on ESPN and Roy Jones training the prefer of fighters, um, you know what I'm saying? You know, it is what it is, man. You know, they'll put on this fight. You know, they'll pay do Jack what he wants or close to what he wants to get to a compromise and make it happen. But, you know, also to be said, you know, people think uh, Bill was vulnerable as well. Even Roy Jones say, he think Bill will take a few fights before fighting Aldi Alvarez. He's not ready. And uh, Isaac Chulemba, hopefully I say this name right, kind of exposed Bill. But that's what happens when you step up in competition. You look good versus one style, but if you keep fighting elite level top fighters, eventually, you know, if you know if you ain't truly great, somebody gonna find you know find a hole in your, your game, and then guys gonna you basically invite guys in that way. All right, so uh, could be a potentially good fight on a potentially great fight. On HBO or with Joe Smith Jr. could be a potential dud, all right? And I think Joe Smith Jr. was done, but guess what? He's a pool in the East Coast. People in New York are going to come out to see him, and they're going to try to get them people that pay attention to Joe Smith Jr. to jump on the Dimitri bandwagon, Dimitri Bivol bandwagon. We know Joe Smith Jr. knows disrespecting him. I used to like him at one point. I still like him as a fighter. We know he ain't got shit for uh, Dimitri Bivol. We know that, man. You know, that would just be a glorified showcase fight. No... No fault to Dimitri Bivol on. He needs somebody to back him like HBO. HBO, uh, Eastern European experiment has gone bad, and you never know. But Duke Jack can put, the, can put the nail in the coffin for the Eastern European experience on HBO, and they could just mail it in and not even want to put fights on no more. So, you know, it's very, very interesting things can happen. I'd love to see this fight art- uh, materialize, and they go ahead and do it. It's going to be a gr- – that will be a great fight in December to go with Stevenson and Goofick, Wilder and Fury – a potential Canelo fight, depending on how the eye heal. Chris Cyborg and um, Emmanuel Nunez, and I'm hearing maybe John Jones might come back as well. So, I mean, the fall is really heating up for combat sports. We need that, especially in the heart of in the NBA and college football and NFL. They need that, man. But shout out to the entire Lions Den Box community, LDBC. If you didn't know, now you know. 
you can go to ldbcsports.com as well. You know, go to Shot Fight Fan uh, TV, get you a few shirts, man. I'm gonna buy a few shirts from from him, and I'm gonna give him away. Maybe a raffle, not a raffle, or maybe you know, ask some trivia questions one night. So y'all be on the lookout for that, man. And uh, I got a shirt request for him. I'm gonna hit him up for this shirt. I want to see if he can get it done. But shout out to Black Fight Fan. Shout out to Trill Box and Talk Him and 7 8 Sport on Black Fight Fan TV. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all go check that out. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. We gone.